Appreciate it, bottom neck. All right, we got another rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. You saying, Scab, another one? Yes, another one. Now, last night I tried to do a video, tried to rush it. Now, I got the rain coming, the hell with it. We're going to do this in the rain. I got the tops. Norseman. Now, I, I just, I didn't feel right about doing a video on this good a knife in the dark. So, while it's daylight, let me show you this. Make sure I can see. I put on sunglasses, can't see shit. There's two cuss words, that's going to be all it is today. So if you got any kids back there you want to watch the video, bring them on out now, because that'll be the end of it. Look at that. I, it's just, that's knife making at its best, son. Dude said that on uh, my top Facebook page I'm a member of, so I stole that from you, dude. Let's see what we got right there. Let me show y'all something. Look at that. Now that's about a five inch, or it's probably six, six and a half inch blade, five and a half inch cutting surface, somewhere like that. Look at that, son. You threw. You devastated. It's over. I got my little mini table. Brought the mini table out. Let's do a front one. Got it twice. Devastating cutting power. Look at there. Son, I cut you 47 ways from Sunday. I know half my head ain't in it. There ain't nothing I can do. I'm trying to race the rain. Now, watch. This come in especially handy in a knife fight. Cut it again, son. Hey, Dad, what in the world? Suck it right through there, son. My point to y'all is this. Seriously. It's too pretty a knife. It's too good looking a knife. It's too all out of a knife. To just to do a half tail. And speaking of which, let me pull these up so I don't traumatize my kids. To do some kind of half ass review. There's three, I'm sorry. Put a quarter in the jar. Put the quarter in the cusp jar. Okay? On my birthday, we're going to send it in. That way, that'll show you the dangers of cussing, how it's expensive, and they'll give me some money. Now, one thing that I cannot stand, you say, Scabby, you say that a lot. Well, there's a lot I can't stand, son. Is when they're building a new complex or something, get in here so y'all can just see the beauty of Scab. When they're putting in a new complex or something like that, a new strip mall, what have you, whatever the case may be, as they say, they go in and they put in the trees, and then they put them straps on them trees and they stake them down, and I get it, it's to keep them straight, but then they just leave them, I hate that dude, I mean it's trashy looking, but I got some of these straps, these are like tie downs, y'all know the heavy nylon type strap. Let's see what we got here. Like butter, son. Look at there. Now, I ain't done nothing with this blade since last night. And last night, I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just, you know, videoing in the dark. About like shooting this video with your sunglasses on. But I digress. Now, I'm up in South Georgia, mid Georgia, somewhere in there, about two hours from the house. So, instead of trying to rush home, and doing this other subpar video, we just decided I'd shoot it right here. JC's asleep in the truck. That's more work than he's done all day, so he might as well be. Did y'all see that? Look there. Look there. I mean, it's just cutting through this thing, son. You think, well, it's a strap. Yeah, I know. We cut a lot of fruit with it, banged it on this table. I really hope Kirk's not watching this video because he's the one that loaned me this knife, even though I bought it. I don't want to mess up his knife. So here's the Norseman. I, I did want to show y'all a little bit better on that back. See that back handle? They just did a great job. Little detail stuff. That's why I like tops. I mean, they're just big on their details. You know? I mean, look at the knife. Again, I know I keep showing you, but I really, you can't really appreciate the knife until you hold it. The blade is reminiscent of my Miller, which I'm not carrying the Miller today. That That's my normal go-to. I got another knife I'm carrying today because I'm going to it's going to be part of the review. But y'all see how it cut through that strap. And, I, you know, it's grapefruit. Okay? Cut through there. But it just made some real deep penetrating cuts. Now, I've got one of these stupid squashes. This is the, the, the spaghetti squash. And what I really want to do more with this thing than anything else. Because this is a heavy, heavy vegetable. I mean, it is. 
Now let's just see what kind of chopping. Now I know it depends on the operator. I know it depends on the technique. But let's just see. In twain, son. I mean, it fallen, put it in twain. But it went right through it, no problem. Again. And I'm gonna keep this this half for my other part of the review. Which the other part of the review I'm actually carrying today. I told y'all Jimbo let me borrow a couple knives. Just thought it'd be good to, to get some of these in to do some tops, to do some higher end stuff. The cold steel's fun, I love doing it. But I've got seven or eight tops. Jimbo's got five or six tops. Kirk's got a thousand tops. So I thought what we'd do is just kind of go through and do a lot of the tops products. They're American made. The vast majority are 1095. What's not 1095 is 1075. This one, I believe, as soon as I tell you, I'm going to tell you wrong. But I, I believe this is about an eighth inch. I don't think it's 316th. So I think it's about an eighth. But man, I usually like a bigger handle. These are linen micarta. I usually like a heavier handle for a couple of reasons. I got about a large hand, small finger, but large hand. But through the years of my wonderful life's decisions, I broke both hands several times. So as I get older, as of age, my grip's just not what it used to be, okay? So normally I like the heavier or the bigger handle where I can get that good grip on it. But I'll tell you, man, something about this thing here, it's got the slight, I, I wouldn't even call it jimping. I mean, it's got jimping here. Got an insert here for that fine work. Small, small choil, two choils. If you really got to get in there and do some, you know, we did a little feather sticking last night. I tell you what, son, I, I don't know where they buy their vegetables at that Winn-Dixie, but it's like the Jolly Green Giant store. See some quick slices there. Look at that. Like air potatoes, son. One thing I, I'd tell you about this knife, more than anything else, I'll show you again, look at that. Now if we knife fight, remember, it's going to be in there back around. Let's just, let me demonstrate that devastatingness. Watch it, we're fighting. Let's see what it'll do. All right, put a little slash in it. Hit you with that hook, you know. It is what it is. Now, Wipe this thing off. We're going to move on to the next knife and review. We're not done with the North Hawk, but y'all know that I will just ramble on and on. So, let's put it up. We'll come back to it. We got a little wood cutting to do, and we'll break it back out. The other knife, and I'm really excited about this one, I'm excited about North Hawk, is this. This is on my list. This is probably going to happen really soon. Jimbo, again, man, shout out to you. Thank you for letting me use this, make sure the police ain't pulling up here. There we go. This is the Wild Pig Hunter. 13 inches overall. It's got a good long blade. Man, this thing right here, good Lord. This is, and I'm telling y'all, y'all know I love my Miller, but this is, man, this is right there on par with that Miller. Good in hand. It just feels good. Y'all see that? The longer blade get, lets you blow right through there. You see how it just blew right through that stuff, man? Now, it has the longer blade, you know, straight out the box. Really, really good. Good, good cutting, good penetration, good everything. This is a, a, a pig hunting knife. Now, I've asked several buddies of mine that hunt. At the, at the shop and around town. Would this my and they said yes, absolutely. Good for getting them, you know, jigging them, or cutting throat, whatever. I, you know, I don't hog hunt because I got common sense. But you know, for you boys that don't, whatever. Right there, right there. So you got a little bit of my thing there. That's how the power goes. Now, the real test is going to be this acorn squash. Now y'all seen last night. These things literally, man, weighed three pounds. Little thing right there. So, let's see what we can do with this thing. 
set her up. I always like my lanyard because I'll throw this sucker about 700 feet out there in the woods and then your cuss jar would be full. Here we go. Hit it hard, son. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Look at there. One good hard swing. Now, I don't usually come out of my shoes hitting this stuff. I usually try just to give it nice and smooth. I went on and hit that one. see here make sure I don't cut my darn finger off that's never good get rid of that this thing has got some pop to it so that pop to it in this one ass will come down and hit me in the head but it won't be today that one could have been this knife right here we went to lunch get some of this heavy nylon strap we went to lunch jump out the truck go in to a little barbecue place in Georgia go leave and said hey man I said here we go hey what kind of knife you got I said man that's tops ball pig under Walt Erdes car really nice guy he makes knives little push knives um he had never heard of tops makes me a little suspect but whatever nah good dude had some cool looking knives man he had a push knife that he, for a handle, he used a pine comb and epoxy. And it, I mean, it was really a solid good knife. So, Scab, yeah, what's that got to do with it? Nothing. I just thought I'd tell you. But he stopped me about the knife. There were a couple state troopers inside. They stopped me about the knife. Nobody getting on me. They just wanted to see the knife. And that's kind. It's got a good leather sheath. I love me some good leather. To me, would I carry this? Absolutely. This is me all day long. This fits me. I love it. And you can see, just like the Norseman, I mean, it's just like it ain't there, man. And if you're a boater, if you're anything like that, you can throw one of these in your boat. And hell, if you don't cut nothing with it, you can use it for an anchor. Throw it in there, harpoon something, you know, make a spear out of it, I don't know. Use your imagination. A little knife works, there you go. Now, nah, look here. I mean, it just tops is a quality quality product. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera. You'll forgive me for not wanting to cut my fingers off. Tops make solid, solid stuff for guys who use them every day. We got to go with my, my, my bona fide water bottle test. For y'all new to the channel, I just I like doing the bottles. I know most people would rather see the fruit. The son about got to take out a loan to do the fruit. So, here's the deal. I like doing this, I like doing a quick slash. I'm not trying to cut it in half, if it goes in half, great. The thing is, just what kind of damage I could do, you know, on a water bottle. Take it from there. That was refreshing, to say the least. So here's the thing, man. Look here. Look here, look him. I mean, that's just a heck of a cut. Now, let's see if we can go ahead and go in 20 on one. Now we're going to have to come down through here, they're shooting some topo, they're shooting some different stuff down here. So unfortunately, down through this area, we're going to have to move some of this out, clear some of this out. I got a piece of cherry right here, I'm going to take it down, we will make it quick to show you a couple things with, the, with both knives right there in half, son. Pretty clean cut. Pretty clean cut right there. Dang good cut. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Do I recommend a Norseman? Absolutely, son. Both good and I am trying to see what kind of time I'm on. Oh, yeah. About 15 minutes, son. Time goes by when you're having fun. Let's bring this thing to a head. I want to show you a couple things. Just a couple things on some wood. And we out. 22 veterans a day commit suicide. That's going to be in every video. You say, well, I'm tired of hearing it. Well, then unsubscribe because it's going to be in every video. It's absurd that, that in this country, our servicemen and women are killing themselves at that kind of rate. They're, they're, it's absurd, man. If you are a member of the military, a veteran, somebody that's out, if you need help, man, please reach out. Please. We're here for you. No, we had not seen what you've seen. I'll say it every time. 
but we're here. If you not want to reach out to us, I totally get that. I wouldn't expect you to really, but reach out to a friend. Reach out to somebody. Hey man, I'm struggling. Hey man, I need help. Addiction. I talked to a buddy of mine today, Glenn. Paris hadn't seen Glenn in, in, in forever, so that means it's meant to be. He's got some, some places, if you're on a bad off on addiction, that'll help you. And that's what we need. We need guys stepping up. I don't want your money. We don't need money. We need people that'll help, willing to counsel, professionals, willing to get some professional help. That's what we're about. I love y'all. God bless y'all. I'm Scab. You're not. I'm going to cut this tree down, show you a little wood process, and we out. How many are you going to cut it down with? Thank you for asking. Why don't we put the uh, old skimitar on it? Y'all want to do some skimitar? There we go. Now, that was for Carl Ruger. Carl, y'all notice right here, son? I went a little steeper angle. That was a great piece of advice. I appreciate that, and you're absolutely right. Cut it much easier. Let's take this Norseman. Right through it, son. Right through it. Look at that. Right through it. Look at that. That's ball one approved right here, son. That's devastating cutting power. Son, unbelievable. What's pig sticker got, Scab? I don't know, Scab. Let's find out. Okay, Scab. Here we go. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at that. I love it. I love y'all. I'm Scab. You're not two absolutely phenomenal knives. You'll love them. I love them. Love y'all. God bless y'all. We out.